Jeremy D. Griffin Jr. And behind me is a picture of, um, of course, the legendary pop star Michael Jackson. Well, now some news has come out that when they searched his home, they found um, pornography of gay animal, which I would say who, and the one they're really pushing is kitty porn. I personally cry BS because when they originally searched the home back many moons ago they said they found no porn they said they didn't find anything kitty related let me put it that way they did find some adult porn but Michael was a grown man he had some porn in his house so what they mentioned nothing about keyboard but now all of a sudden there is Makes you wonder what is it they don't want us paying attention to? What is it that's going on that they don't want us paying attention to? Because why didn't you come out with this back in the 90s? Or if you really did find it, why didn't you come out with this during the trial? As hard as the prosecution, uh, Tom Sneedon and all them was trying to get Michael Jackson in jail, you trying to tell me if they had this information, they didn't use it? That's why I, I cry BS on this. This is a smokescreen in my opinion. Why did you come out with this before? What is it that they don't want us focusing on that's going on out here right now? It's like, just like every time something comes out that's questionable, either towards the government or even towards a certain group of people, they always pull out, you know, everybody always wants to oh, oh, quit pulling the race card. Well, y'all quit pulling the black card because it seems like every time y'all have to pull out some new N-word of the month. And if you can't find that, you'll dig up an old story and try to put a new spin on it. When I'm like, okay, when they originally searched, they found nothing. You trying to tell me? <laughs> You're trying to tell me. That all of a sudden, they have, oh, we got kitty porn on Michael Jackson. I'm like, what? When the original search found nothing but adult movies, which I say, who cares? That's their personal business. Yeah, something spells. There's something they don't want us looking at that's going on or not paying attention to. And besides, the man is dead. He's been dead going on seven years. You should have brought this up. If you had this information, you should have brought it up when the man was living, when you could get him convicted. If it was true, which I personally don't now believe it is. The man's gone. What's the point in bringing that up? We got, so we got fire out in California. We got severe weather going on in the East Coast. Thunderstorms and such. And we got all this political mess. We got two candidates that me personally speaking for myself, I don't want neither one of them to be president. So I'm kind of screwed come November. Well, I'm gonna worry about this now. Now don't get me wrong. Somebody having kid, a grown man having kid poor is a serious thing. But here's my thing. Where was it during the years when the man was living? If you had this evidence, why didn't you bring it up then? And plus why bring it up now? The man's gone. You can't convict a dead man. At least at least not yet, anyway. Well, that's all I got to say. Got some bills to pay and business to take care of. I'm Irvin Griffin.